In today's video, we are going to take a look at the Euro USD. I'll show you guys the key levels I'm watching this week, as well as the level on the DXY that you have to watch this month for clues about the Euro. Okay, hope everyone is doing well. Let's start here with the Euro USD daily time frame. So uh, this is something that we've talked about for a while now, how the market has just kind of been going sideways here uh, between this support area right down here around 107.50. So you can see this was the recent low. We've got this pivot right back here in this area. And you can also see where we've got this high right here. So the Euro never closed below it. And so far we do have resistance developing up here around 110. So at the moment, the Euro is just range bound. However, we do have a short-term uptrend here as defined by this trend line. Once again, you can see we've got a lot of wicks below this level, but the Euro never closed below. And we've also got this low right here, which was a liquidity sweep below that 107.50 level. All right, now keep in mind that we are heading into the holiday season. So expect liquidity to kind of start to dry up a little bit and conditions for the markets, even a pair like the Euro USD, to become a little bit more challenging as that liquidity dries up. So keep that in mind. The holiday season is typically not the best for trading. Um, with that said, okay, if we look back here on the Euro, there is a chance that if we see the Euro break these recent highs up here, that we do see a liquidity sweep above those and a tag of the very prominent swing highs back here um, in early 2023. Now, this was the high right here that we saw taken out during this move. And what you'll notice here is that this became a fake out. Okay, up here, so this candle right here confirmed it. We got the retest right here through these two candles. And this candle right here came close. It swept these recent highs, but didn't quite test that level. So there is some liquidity up here in this region, uh, just below 111. So that is one possibility here um, over the coming days as we head into the holiday season. Now, if we see the euro start to break down from these levels, okay, including this area right down here, you can see that was Friday's low. So we've got a little pivot right here for the euro, uh, right around 1088. So that's going to be support down here, as is this level around 10840. Okay, so it's a little bit hard to see here, but if you go back, you can see where this was support back here in this area. And this is also a weekly level. So if you go on the weekly chart and look at this level, you can see that this is significant. And again, we also have this area just above that. Okay, so for the Euro, it's a little bit hard to read um, right now, which is why I have not been trading it. However, there is a level on the US dollar index, the DXY, that I think is going to be very telling, not only for the Euro, but also for the pound over the coming days. All right, so let's flip over and take a look at the DXY. And if you guys do wanna join the VIP group, by the way, I am running a 70% off sale right now for lifetime access. So you're gonna get lifetime access to daily videos, exclusive charts and setups. Uh, you'll see my trades in real time, et cetera, including the pound short that I took last week. So things like that I do talk about in real time. Uh, we're in Discord you know, every single day talking about crypto, Forex, and also the stock market. So see the link in the description of this video for 70% off lifetime access to VIP. So looking here at the DXY, um, and in fact, I'm going to go out here first because I think this really is pretty telling as far as where the DXY has been and where it could go. So we've talked about this before, how back here, this was essentially just a big range for the dollar, right? It was obviously ranging between these two levels, right around 101 support and a 105.80 resistance. And this down here became a fake out. Okay, now this was confirmed through this area. So on the close above, you can see we got the retest right here as new support. And that triggered a move all the way back toward range highs, right around 106. Now, the DXY spent all of October trading above that level until we got the breakdown. And I've mentioned this before, but if you go to the weekly time frame, what you'll notice is that 105.80 was respected incredibly well here from the DXY. So we got the close below right here on this candle. So you can see how it served as support on the weekly chart. We got the close below, retest as new resistance, and that is what has triggered this entire move lower. Now, what I've mentioned recently is that there is a chance that just like back here where we got the fake out below and the run up here toward range highs, there is that chance, right, that we get the, the fake out up here and the run all the way down here toward the range lows around 101. So keep that in mind. There is no confirmed bottom here yet for the dollar. We could see it continue down here toward the 101 area. Now, with that said, I do want to show you the level to keep an eye on for a potential reversal. So if the dollar is gonna reverse from current levels, 
what it has to do right now is take out 10260. All right, so one of the, the highest probability ways to spot reversals in the markets, just like what we looked at on the weekly time frame, are fake outs. They're also called deviations, although typically deviations occur at the extremes of a range. So what we're discussing right here with 102.60 would really just be a reclaim. So what you can see back here is we had resistance. We had the highs back here. You can see where it served as support right here on these two candles. And so far, that's exactly what the DXY is struggling to get back above. So in order for the dollar to reverse higher and the euro to pull back, the same thing for the pound, the DXY has to get above 102.60 on a daily closing basis. Now, that last part is key because a an intraday break above it is not going to cut it. As you can see, we did get some very small wicks above this level, but we have not seen a daily close above that. So we need the DXY trading up here on a daily closing basis to confirm that this down here is our fake out and target some higher levels. Now, if we were to get that over the coming days, then my target is going to be 104.20. Okay, so these highs right up here. So this area would be the first target followed by that 105.80 weekly level. That's only if the DXY can reclaim 102.60. So if it starts to trade back up here on a daily closing basis, then these would be my targets, right? Now, on the other hand, like I said, there is a chance that we see the DXY go down test 101, given the fake out we saw back here in October. So if that's the case, then what you're looking for is a daily close below 102, specifically about 101.90, okay? So you can see we've got the low right back here. We've got the lows through this area. And once again, lows here recently, okay? So this is gonna be support down here. We've got resistance up at 102.60. This is a range bound market until we get either a close above 102.60 or a close below 101.90. So if we see a daily close below here, especially two daily closes, then we are likely looking at a move back here toward that 101 area, which is that long-term range support for the DXY. And alternatively, as mentioned, you know, close above this area around 102.60, I think we get some serious relief here for the DXY. So the jury is really out for the DXY. This is why the euro is also difficult to trade right now, just because we do have the DXY moving here between 102 and 102.60. All right, so if you're trading the euro, I really think that the DXY is the market to watch just because the levels here are a lot cleaner, in my opinion, than the euro. And a lot of people think, well, why are you looking at the DXY? Considering that the DXY and the euro are inversely correlated, you could really just look at the euro USD and accomplish the same goal. But I actually argue that um, there is a lot of benefit to looking at the DXY if you are trading the euro or the pound or really any major currency pair. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, be sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon for notifications. Don't forget, get your 70% off VIP access in the description of this video. Trade well this week, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.